I'm deeply shocked. I think it's a matter of anguish that this is happening. And as far as I'm concerned, I think it becomes indispensable that the government does what is necessary. Qatar is a country we have decent relations with. We have an ambassador there. They have an ambassador in Delhi. This entire case has been shrouded in mystery since the people were arrested in August of 2022. We cannot accept that Indian citizens uh, can be sentenced to death. For what? We don't even know the public. The trial was up behind closed doors. The sentencing, no one knows the reasons, anything like this. It's terribly uh, shocking and I my, my must say unacceptable. I hope that the Indian government will take it up very strongly with the highest level of authorities in Qatar and that as a result we will have some satisfactory outcome. Uh, this is simply not right. And whatever the circumstances are, the government knows more than you and I do, but it's very, very essential that these people be brought back home as soon as possible. And in any case, their arrest and their trial, we need to know much more about before we can make any useful comment. Sir, so some people are attributing it to the ongoing israel Hamas uh, conflict also. India has taken a stand in favor of Israel. So some people are attributing that uh, maybe Qatar is taking some revenge from us. Look, I don't want to speculate on Qatar's motives or the motives of their judicial system. I think we just have to accept that something that has happened deeply hurts the population of India, the feelings of Indians everywhere, and that therefore we hope that the government of Qatar in the interest of good relations with India, will modify this outcome uh, and, and ideally uh, release the, the individuals. But if not, at least the sentence should not be carried out. This is shocking for us. Sir, one last question. Uh, according to one of our speeches uh, which has been uh, quoted in social media, you have supported uh, Israel in some way on... No, no, no. This is... Uh, so people should listen to the... Been the people should listen to the whole speech. It was about the need for peace. The entire rally was for peace and human rights, and that's all it was. There's nothing else that, uh, uh, that is uh, necessary to exaggerate. The problem is people don't listen before they comment. Let them listen to the speech. Thank you.